Hi, this is Jody from MCPActions.com. Today we're going to be doing a tutorial on layer masks. This is the second part of this tutorial. This is going to be using um, layer masks in actions. When you have an action that you buy or get for free even on the internet and it has layer masks built in, sometimes people just skip that part. They figure they'll run it, they don't need to use it because they don't know how. So I'm going to teach you how to take advantage of layer masks that are built into actions already for you. We're going to go ahead and run some actions today from my Quickie collection. And first I'm going to switch over to the picture. This is a straight out of camera picture of a model, um, a senior girl, that we're going to be working on today. I'm going to go ahead and run a couple different ones. I'm going to go ahead and run Crackle. I'm going to run over um, under exposure fixer, although it's just a little bit underexposed. And I'm going to go ahead and actually let's start with those two and actually color fixer because the color looks a little orange to me in this. So the first thing we're going to do with crackle, we'll turn it on and off and see the results. And you'll see it just adds a lot of contrast in the mid-tone area and really sharpens things up. I don't think there's any area, the way to tell is by clicking the eyeball on and off, where I don't like what this did. But if I didn't like how it impacted these grates, say I wanted those with that nice blur, I could go ahead and use black to conceal the effect, select a brush from my brush palette, again using a soft round airbrush, make sure my opacity and fill are at 100% at this point for what we're doing here, and I would go ahead and just brush back on the background with a nice large brush because it's pretty forgiving and pretty quick with what we're doing here. And now you can see that this will not have impacted that, but it will just impact the girl. Okay, next thing is to color correct. This is using um, the color fixer, color fixer action. We're going to go ahead and look at this photo, and to me it looks a little bit orange. So we're going to decrease the oranges in the photo and then bring the opacity down a bit. Now if there was anything that had orange in it, before that you liked, say you liked the way the shirt looked, although I don't think it looks terribly different, we could then go ahead just with this particular layer mask selected and paint back on the shirt or maybe on the bench. Now in the mask, if you look over here in the layers palette, you'll see black on the mask. That represents, it corresponds with the actual photo. So anywhere you see black, like right here and right here, you can see it corresponds with the black right there. It hides the effect. So we're going to go ahead now and close out of that. And the last one is the underexposure fixer. Which I actually think we could bring the opacity of this down a little bit. If you want certain areas darker to kind of have a natural vignette, you'd go ahead and select the layer mask here. And white now white is revealing the effect of lightening things up. So if we use black, we're going to be making it back darker. So we could go ahead and actually come in here and get back that part it lightened up like that. We could even do it a little bit on her blouse. And now you can see it just worked on her skin areas, lightening them up. But it left the background a little bit darker what it was naturally. Okay, lastly, and you can see it's looking a lot better. I'll actually show you a before and after so far. That's the before. And that's the after. You can see she's gotten lightened up. She's much crisper and so on. And now we're going to go ahead and we will run Throwback Vintage. Vintage actions tend oftentimes to leave the skin looking a little bit green, like a slight greenish tint. And layer masks are a great way to fix that if there's one built in. What we're going to do here, though, is we're going to change the opacity down to about 25-30%. And we're going to brush on the skin one time very quickly like that. And you can see it brought back some but not all of that natural color so that your vintage still looks natural, looks like a vintage, but you're not getting that green effect that often happens while you're using a vintage action. If you look at the mask here, you'll see that instead of black being on the mask, it's a very light gray. So only a little bit of the effect is hidden. That concludes my tutorial for today using layer masks with actions. Hopefully you've enjoyed and you can find more tutorials at mcpactions.com slash blog. Thank you and I'll be talking with you soon.